Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blazer here, coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection video. And yes, if you look closely, I gold framed and the uh, Max Legendary painted my um, V1 God Killer Sasuke. He is now Max Legendary. The only thing they can do, I can do to him now, is if they decide to give him a rainbow frame in the future, I could do that. And if they decide to um, give me some more dupes of him, I can feed him in for skill level. But other than that, I can't do much to him. I've given him the level three count drop. And um, this video, me, I was testing them out earlier, and um, I was recording the showcase of them a little bit, because I was, I was making a showcase, and I thought to myself, I should probably cover Legendary Pains and Legendary Framing and all the other stuff in a uh, separate video, because I do think it is deserving of a separate video. Um, that way I can make sure I can squash any questions you guys may have or that may pop up in the future. So let's get over to the uh, Legendaries. Legendary Boy's Traditional Abilities. A legendary board's traditional abilities are these little flames right here. Um, you have a level one, a level two, and a level three. Um, and the, um, I guess the amount of numbers or the amount of damage on them differs, varies based off of six stars versus seven stars. So like you see right here, numbers vary at different levels based off rarity of the unit, six stars versus seven stars. So a um, unit like this Sasuke right here, his was like 1.2 million. This, the new Sasuke's, his is at 2 million. So expect newer units that are 7 star base to come out with 2 million. But units that are like the uh, free Naruto that started off at 7 stages, then got awakening to a 7 star and now get a legendary frame. That they are going to, um, they're going to be um, having a different number. Like they'll probably have that 1.2 million. Or maybe even a unit that was started off as a 5 star and then moves up and gets a legendary pain. That one, maybe he'll have a legend. Maybe he'll have a different one. Maybe his will be like 1 million or something like that. So the numbers vary based off of the rarity of the unit. Um, you have different levels between the level 1 and level 2 at any time. There can only be one active at a time, which is the highest level selected. So what I did with this Sasuke is I skipped the level 1 and 2 and I went straight to the level 3 and gave him level 3. Um, which one did I give him again? I gave him level 3. Kunai. I keep saying cow drops. I gave him level 3 kunai. So what I did is one chance to deal 1.2 million damage after using a skill. So that's the one I have on this Sasuke. Now I do rec I don't I do recommend giving your characters the cow drop one chance to deal 2 million damage after um an enemy action. The reason I chose to give I recommend giving that is because um if you're in a situation where you're like paralyzed or you're the third Okage comes out and he jutsu seals you or anything like that, that'll come in handy for if you're getting your ass kicked. Now, if you're already legendary framing your unit, um, you're probably, your stat buffs are probably high enough to where you're dealing big peen damage. You're dealing like big daddy dick damage onto the enemy. So you don't need the extra, you know, 2 million or 1.2 million damage after each turn especially if you're doing because you're probably doing a whole bunch of penetra you're doing a whole bunch of penetrating damage and you probably got a whole bunch of additionals and it's probably aoe so you don't need the um the um extra damage after you use it and it's a chance to do it too i figured it'll probably be more ut utility and more helpful to have it to damage after an enemy action so every time the enemy does something because he'll have a chance to do something he'll have the chance to take a shit ton of damage if he does anything to you and if you have a unit like the third okage or like the kabuto who charms you or seals you or anything or paralyzes you or something that'll come in handy also because you'll be taking damage while being put under some negative special states sure they'll probably have somebody on the team to remove it but then that'll cost that'll cause an action and there'll be a chance for him to take damage so i recommend giving the cop drop one that's my personal recommendation but if you rather have the deal damage every time you attack because you're attacking constantly then go on ahead and do that you also have the food pill items too hp and chakra curry plus 45 percent on a movement section of selection and then chance to increase withstand upon from one to three upon granting a state so you have to grant a state and you have a chance to increase your withstand which um if you're if you're just doing big ping damage, you like your unit just a DPS doing big ping damage, and they really don't put the enemy under anything, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, I don't think this counts as for like terrain states or something like that, though. I think it does, but I don't know for a hundred percent certainty. That's something that would have to be tested along the way. I'm probably not going to be the one to test it. Somebody else will probably will. But um, yeah. To furthermore or explain legendary boards, they have five pains. The first one. In the middle gives you skill damage times two. The second one is additional penetrate hit. The third one is additional penetrate hit times two. The fourth one is additional hit penetrate hit times three. The fifth one is additional penetrate hit times four. So that you get a shit ton of additional penetrates. Um, 
with um and you're on top of having a skill damage times two. So if your unit's already like a hard hitting unit, you're gonna be getting a shit ton of penetrates alongside it if you give more dupes to it. Um, a unit that will really benefit like that, in my opinion, I think like Mike Guy may benefit from like like God Lee Mike Guy for the simple fact is um he already I think he already does penetrate. So the fact that you're putting more penetrates on him is just really stupid. You can also add one or more a non non penetrate hit to your attacks by traditional ability in the first and third and fifth pain. Um, need further confirmation on the penetrate hits though. Testing damages was a blur. Yeah, testing damages is really crazy because it's just they hit so fucking hard. P.S. Penetrate hits ignore all damage reductions. I.G. Kizuna skill. Yep, that's just like that too. You know how the Kizuna skill goes through everything. It penetrate goes through um states and um penetrates and stuff like that it just does so much fucking shit so it's kind of like that so it's kind of like you're giving your um unit a kizuna skill minus um uh, minus the couple of things you're just giving them the penetrate hits you're not getting them to ignore resistances and all the other shit you're just giving them the penetrate so that's um very important very distinction to make um the left one to here, and then here's right here. Now, let me look closely at these. I want you guys, because the, the difference is really, really fucking um, very small for the legendary proofs. Because, let me sure I got this right. Because, let me sure I don't say anything wrong. The left one is the heroic one, and the right one is the um, legendary proof. Now, this one right here is the one you get from, um, you can trade them in for them in a shop. You can get them during missions and all the other stuff like that. Um, these are very easy to get. Your heroic proofs work pretty much on any unit that has a potential system. Um, now, your legendary proofs on the right, these are the har harder ones to get. These ones are the only ones right now. It seems like the only way you can get them is doing the Sasuke mission, which is closed now. Doing those five times a day. Doing the Konohamaru missions. And um, doing uh, buying packs. Um, I bought multiple ones out of the pack. That's why I was able to um, max legendary my uh, Sasuke so quickly, so make sure you guys, um, <laughs> I guess if you're not going to buy them, pretty much stay on the grind of Konohamaru missions and doing whatever daily or weekly mission they have to um, get these. Look very closely at them. They're, I know they look the same, but they're not. Like Even the names are different for the kanji on them. Like They're the same, but the only difference is like the first few uh, kanji right here. For me, it helps me to memorize them as pictures. Um, that's how I kind of memorize them. Like I can tell like this one right here has like a line on it. Like, or maybe like a backwards four or something, and this one doesn't. Or you could look at the title, the name on them right here. This one right here, it kind of reminds me like a from a gun lance on Monster Hunter. That's how I kind of remember it. I tell myself to, I compare it to like funny ass pictures. That way it helps me remember it. Like, I look for the legendary proof. It looks like a gun lance from Monster Hunter. And then this one looks like fucking like, I don't know, samurai armor. Once I tell myself that stupid shit, and then I, it helps me remember and tell the difference between the two of them. Because they look a pretty much I fucking identical i wish they would um have looked like a different picture entirely but they look damn near identical the only difference is the kanji so for people who don't understand japanese you're you're probably you, it would be easy for you to get mixed up between the two of these and not being able to tell which ones you um, have or not have enough of so that's very a very important distinction to recognize too anything else i would like to cover in this um i know i said in the video prior to i think i did I feel like I did. Let me go back over in this video. Right, I'm going to this image right here. It needs to open up. Hurry up, and open. Well, it's my Sasuke's um legendary frame. Um, like I said before, there's this weird bug in the game right now. I don't know if it's a bug or it's intentional, but it, um, it makes you use your dupes over just using your regular stones, regular stones to open up the paths for your characters. Like so, what I recommend doing, I see these red, these red and black rocks right here at the bottom. You also can get these to open up any character from the shop. But if you feed the character um, dupe into it, you can only um, use that character's uh, dupe stone for that character. So I recommend using the stone because you need the dupes. I recommend using using it to um, use your um, legendary frames first. You should always open your legendary frames first, and then go back and do your regular potential system. That way you um don't end up using these stones that can go on anybody or using your dupe stones that can go on um your earlier frames and then you're going to run out of dupes and not have enough to open up your legendary frames because your legendary frames you can only open with dupes the other ones you can you can use whatever so i recommend doing that first so make sure you guys uh do that um anything else i want to cover i think that's pretty much it for how um, how legendary framings work you guys got any questions below 
Let me know in the comment section below if you guys got any further questions on that one. I'll try to answer as many as I can. I hope I explained it in a way that makes sense. Um, but uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this video right here, guys. You guys like this video, you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that bullshit. This be your boy Blazehood. Peace out.